welcome to Hawaii. My name is Becky and we're going to be doing a pump workout. We're inside today because it's very windy outside and we don't want to blow away. So we're going to need some lighter dumbbells, some heavier dumbbells. If you have a mat and your lighter orange band, please grab those items now, as well as some water. Start your fitness tracker and we're going to begin. All right, so we're going to start with one arm row and we're gonna do 20 on each side. So I'm using a heavier dumbbell. You could also use a kettlebell for this. All right, so keeping our back nice and straight and we're just gonna row back. Okay. So fully extend, keeping your arm nice and close to your body. Breathe. How's your day going today? I went for a nice walk this morning. Good. Had a nice coffee. There's 10. We have 10 more on this side, please. Got some cleaning done. Five more. Jay will be here on Tuesday, so just in a couple days. So we're excited for him to be here again. Three, two, and one. Good. All right, so we're gonna switch over to the other side, same thing. Again, keeping your back nice and straight, picking up your dumbbell or kettlebell. And here we go. We're gonna row for two sets of 10. There's 10, we have 10 more. set that down and we're going to need your lighter Oren band next so if you have it and we're going to be doing three sets of ten Oren band so it's a pull apart so we're placing our hands inside and then we're gonna pull so just a slight bend at the elbow good shoulders back beautiful hear the birds and the wind. Good job. All right, there's 10 and we have two more sets of 10, please. So I was walking the beach the last couple mornings and I noticed all these jellyfish that were um, laying on shore. So they were already mostly um, dead. And so they need to be cleaned up. So I was helping along the beach the last two mornings. And uh, a lot of sea turtles swimming by, also getting their breakfast. Good, we have one more set of 10. And also there's these little creatures. They kind of look like a weasel or a ferret. And they're called a mongoose. And they are, were also eating the uh, dead jellyfish. Here we go, 10. I had never picked a jellyfish up with my bare hands before. Actually, I don't think I've ever really seen jellyfish outside of an aquarium. So that was pretty neat. And the ones that were still alive, we put into a fish tank full of ocean water and they were going to be released back out into the ocean, not right at shore, where little kids can get hurt and adults. 
but they say if you get stung to spray vinegar on the sting and it helps a little bit. Okay, good job, set that down. Next, we're going into an upright row. We have two sets of 10. So you can use a kettlebell or dumbbell, Zzz, dumbbells. And we're gonna stand nice and tall, lead up with our elbows and then down. So two sets of 10, please. Shoulders. Good. Have you ever been stung by a jellyfish or have you seen one in the ocean? Considering we've been in Hawaii almost two years now and we've never been stung, that's a good thing. And we're in the ocean almost every day. All right, we have 10 more. I have also not seen a shark in two years. Actually, I don't, oh yeah, in Florida I've seen a shark. Have you ever seen a shark? I think it was just a baby one. Good job. Keep going. Three more. Three, two, one more. Good job. All right, we can set it down for a moment. Now at any time, if you want to add in some cardio, it could be burpees, jumping jacks, high knees, mountain climbers, go ahead and add that in. Our next exercise is a front raise. We're going to do three sets of 10 front raise. You can use a dumbbell, kettlebell, or weight plate. I'm using a 20 pound dumbbell. So again, we're gonna stand nice and tall. And just our arms are doing the work, so make sure we're not using our whole body. Go ahead. Challenge yourself with the weight you're using. Remember, challenge equals change. Progress. Two more, two more. One more. Good. Now, if you want to set it down, you can. And as I was saying, you can add in some cardio. And then we're going to do another two sets of 10 front raise. So we're working the front part of our shoulder. Ready? OK, please pick up your weight. There we go. 10. more. It's burning. Five, four, one more. Good. We can set it down for a moment and then we have our next 10 front raise. All right. After this set, we're going to be going into side lateral raise. So if you have a lighter set of weights for that exercise. All right, here we go. 10 more front, please. 10. We have five more. Four, three, two, one more. And good. All right, set it down, please. If you need a drink, grab a drink. Okay, like I was saying, side lat raise is next. So we're going to use a little bit lighter set of weights. And standing nice and tall, we're going to take those weights out to the side. Three sets of ten. All right, are we ready? 10. Good. How's your water drinking going? Have you been drinking enough water? Good. 
If not, this is your reminder. Good, there's our first set of 10. And shake those arms out. You can add in some jumping jacks. And then we're gonna go into our second set of 10. All right, ready? Pick up your weights for 10. Good. How are you doing for your daily steps lately? Are you getting 10,000 steps a day or more? I hope. One more. Good. Nice job. How are your shoulders feeling? We're going into our final set of side lat raise and then our next exercise is going to be shoulder press. All right, please pick up your weight. Here we go for 10. Breathe. Five. Four. Three, two more, please. One more. And good job. All right, go ahead and set them down. Next, we're going into our shoulder press. And again, we have three sets of 10. All right. So when you're ready, go ahead and pick up your weight. You can use a barbell or dumbbells for three sets of 10. Good job. And you can break if you need. Nice work. And then we're going into our two more sets of 10 shoulder press. Then we're gonna go down to the mat for push-ups. Everyone's favorite. All right, ready? Please pick up your weights. Here we go for 10 shoulder press. Good. Strong, fit. set them down. Nice job. We have one more set of 10 shoulder press. Are you excited for those push-ups? <laughs> Me too. It's going to feel amazing on these shoulders we've been working. All right, here we go. Pick it up. Press up to the sky for 10, 9, 8. Good. Five more. Push. I know it burns. Four, three, push through the burn. Two, one more. Excellent. All right, if you need more time, pause the video. Come back when you're ready. Otherwise, please come and join me on the mat. We are going to do 15 push-ups. You can break them up however you like. Three sets of five. You can do them from your knees. You can do them from your toes. So if you're, whatever you're doing, come down to the mat and place your hands just outside your chest, okay? And if you're going from your knees, we're just gonna press straight up, keeping your bum nice and down. So you have a straight line from your shoulders to your knees. Bending at the elbow down, press up. All right, so that's from your knees. Now if you're going from your toes, same thing. So laying on your mat, hands just outside your chest, elbows in, press up. Now, if you want to do three sets of five, you can, however you want to get them in. Like I was saying, try to get your chest all the way down to your mat and then straight up. Here we go. Good. It is so windy here today. Actually, it's been windy for a few days. 
All right, ready for five more? No big deal, here we go. Good job. All right, we are going to lay on our back next and we're going into skull crusher. So we're gonna work the back of your arm called the tricep, triceps. And I'm using my 20 pound dumbbell. That's the heaviest I have here. And you can either overlap your hands in the center or you can hold your dumbbell on the ends. And then what we're gonna do is take our hands straight up to the sky, bend at the elbow down towards our skull, and then straight up, just a little movement down and up. And we wanna focus on the back of our arms. We're doing five sets of 10. Good, and again, you can use a kettlebell or a weight plate. Important to breathe. There's 10, we have four more sets of 10. Good job, three more sets of 10. Some people like to use a barbell for this exercise, which works as well. Good, burning, should be burning. We have two more sets of 10. Good break. We have one more set of 10. 10, nine. Oh, it's burning. Five. Keep going, four, push. Three, two, last one. And good. All right, you can set your dumbbell to the side and we're gonna come up to standing. All right, so we have three sets of 10 basic bicep curl next. So please pick up your dumbbells. How are your triceps feeling? <laughs> Burning? Yes. All right, so bicep curl, just a basic curl. Up and down, up, down. Three sets of 10. Good. You can set your dumbbells down in between your sets if you like, or we keep going. And again, you can always add in some cardio. making sure not to swing your weights around. We're controlling them. Oh, they're burning. All right, we have one more set of 10 bicep curl, and then we're gonna go back to triceps. <laughs> I know. All right, here we go. Pick up your weights for 10. Four, three, two, and one. Good, go ahead and set your weights down. All right, give your arms a little rest for a moment. And what we're gonna do is pick up your dumbbell. Now, you can either do overhead tricep extension or you can do tricep kickbacks or tricep dips. You get to choose. I'm gonna go with overhead tricep and we're gonna be doing five sets of 10. 
fun. This is gonna be fun. All right, when you are ready, make sure to count your reps and get every rep in. All the way up and down. If you don't have one heavier weight, you could use two lighter weights, one in each hand. There's 10, 40 more. Good. I'm gonna need to set this down for a moment. Good. Oh my goodness. All right, so I have three more sets of 10 tricep extension. You can add in some jogging. How are your arms feeling? Mine are feeling very swollen. Okay, here we go back to our overhead tricep or tricep exercise of your choice. Let's go for 10. Please, 10. All the way down, all the way up. Wow! <laughs> Talk about Wendy in her vacuum and Daisy's room. Wow, that's crazy. All right. Now I'm on my page here again. <sighs> Told you it was Wendy. That's why we're inside today. I feel like the camera would have like tipped over. Okay, back to our triceps. Ten reps. Push. Can you hear the wind outside? Oh, oh my goodness. All right, you're doing great, by the way. I know this is burning big time. We have one more set of ten tricep, and then we're going to go back to bias. We're going to be doing some hammer curl. And we've got some more fun stuff coming up. All right, are we ready? Here we go. Last set of 10. 10. Push. Push. Five. Four. Three. Two. Is the door going to fly open again? Good job. All right, you can set that down. So now we're gonna go back to our biceps like I was mentioning. So picking up your dumbbells. This is an alternating hammer curl. We're gonna be doing four sets of 10. So standing tall, control your dumbbells. Just squeeze and lower, squeeze and lower for four sets of 10. Good, biceps, front part of your arm, and there's 10, 30 more. Good. If you need to, you can set your weights down in between your sets, give your arms a little break. Now, if you don't have dumbbells that are quite heavy enough for the alternating, um, you can do both at the same time for four sets of 10 as well. Good, mind to muscle, squeeze those biceps. Good. We are halfway through our 40. If you want to set them down for a moment, you can. We have two more sets of 10. Oh, arms. You feeling that? I am. That pump, swollen, oh, blood rushing to your muscles. All right, here we go. Two more sets of 10. 
So you can either do alternating or both at the same time. Nice work. I have one more set of 10 hammers. <laughs> Feeling good. Grab a drink whenever you need a drink. This is our last set of 10 hammer curl. And then we're going to go into some bent over fly. So we're going to need lighter weights for that exercise. Okay, we ready? Here we go. It's only 10. We can do 10. No big deal. 10. Elbows are right by your waist. Nine. Breathe. Good. Four more, please. Four. Three. Two. Last one. I know, I know. We can do it. Whoo, good. All right, go ahead and set them down. Drink the water. If we can get the water up to our mouth without spilling it. Okay. So our next exercise, I'm going to use my five pound dumbbells for this. So we're bent over, back nice and straight, and we're going to take those dumbbells out to the side. We're going to do 15 out to the side. Good. Just looking down at the floor, looking down at your feet. 10 more. Five more, please. Five, four, three, two, one more. Good, and you can set those down. Awesome. Okay, so now a little bit heavier weight, and we're doing bent, uh, bent over row. So you can either do this with a barbell or dumbbells. You could even use kettlebells. Okay, so if you pretend, so your back is straight, and find your belly button. So it's an overhand grip, and keeping the weights nice and close to your shins. We're gonna bring those elbows back, and dumbbells are going towards your belly button. So picture if you had a bar, you're bringing that bar towards your belly, towards your belly button. We're doing 15. Good. This is working your back, your rear delts. Just looking down at the floor. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Keep the weight nice and close to your legs. Five more. Five. Four. Almost there. Three, two, last one, and good. All right, go ahead and set your weight down. All right, you have just completed one full round of our pump workout. I hope your arms are feeling pumped. Please go back to the top and repeat one more time and then make sure to stretch. We'll see you back here next time from beautiful Hawaii or my bedroom. And uh, let me know how you enjoyed this workout in the comments for Birds Aloud. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe. We'll see you next time. Great job.